Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy and in this video we will basically go through a blog which is written by Martha How I become a software tester in one year and I'm going to discuss about 8 learning and a one bonus learning from the blog that is written by Martha and trust me this is uh, really really important for anyone who's basically starting as a QA fresher even if you have experience right how you can become a better software tester right or if you are a fresher then definitely you need to watch this because you will know what are the major learnings from this uh, blog all right so let's get started hey guys welcome to the testing academy Pramod here or uh, we will basically go through the blog I'll share the link also this is written by Martha. First of all, let's do one thing. Let's go through the learnings first. What kind of learning she had, right? Uh, first of all, learning number one. Uh, so you want to become a software tester, right? And the first, the first important thing that she basically talks about is uh, basically you have to have a precise, a precise uh, roadmap to the switch to job. Okay. Let me tell you about my scenario. Okay. So when, uh, when I was uh, into manual testing right when i was in manual testing so what i did is uh, to switch to automation right i prepared a six month plan okay that six month plan basically include how i'm gonna basically learn about the programming right a uh, couple of concepts related to selenium and api i started with api and after that i have moved to selenium right i have discussed this multiple times right so here she is basically discussing that you need to be precise and have a roadmap you, you can create a roadmap around it, which, which, which will basically something looks like a, this, uh, looks like this, where you, sh you should know what I need to learn and you should prepare a list of topics, which is really important. Okay. So, uh, here, for example, I have given you the roadmap of SDEC, how to become a software developer in test, right? Similarly, I will be launching up, uh, where a couple of, uh, other roadmaps related to manual tester. API tester I have already launched so you can go to the testing academy how you can become API tester uh, just watch out roadmap to become an API tester we will be launching I will be launching for the manual testing penetration testing security testing also the ro correct roadmaps so those roadmaps make sure you printed out those roadmaps and put it here because if you want to switch okay so this is really really important this was a learning for okay and if you want if you want to watch this video you can go to the sd.live slash sd hyphen roadmap and you can see all this Okay, uh, let's go to the learning number two, guys. Uh, make sure you uh, you like if you are getting any kind of a value from this. And here, basically, she is talk about that uh, time frame and the dates. What you need to do is that you have to prepare your mindset, guys. Here, what you need to do is basically prepare uh, like a six month plan. For example, you can have a six month plan, two month plan, three month plan, one month plan or a year plan for example if you suppose i am in manual testing and i have a plan okay in after six months or one year i will switch to automation okay or suppose i'm a fresher probably after three months i will prepare for something and i will basically get a manual testing job software uh, or a qa job probably right so have a time set in your mind the important thing is that if you have a deadline right you will take action if you don't have any deadline you will not take action trust me and I have done it. I have done it multiple times. I have learned API testing. I have learned Selenium, advanced reliabilities, working with AWS uh, certification, become a scrum master, all the things that I have basically achieved. Mostly these things are important where I have basically put time frames and the dates. Okay. So make sure you do that. Uh, similarly, if you are fresher, you can go to the 30 days challenges of the testing Academy. Also, I think you know where to go, right? Uh, go to that uh, youtube.com slash testing academy and search for the 30 days challenges learning number three from that blog make sure you fulfill the clarity actually get clarity on the uh get clarity about your career path from linkedin and you make sure you fulfill the criteria also so criteria basically means you know uh, if you want to for example many time people with the some uh, random bachelor degree exact uh, it is not related to computer science or anything they basically try to switch to the automation role or a QA role. And that is not possible actually in especially the Asian region, wherever, for example, in India, uh, if you don't have any computer science related uh, uh, degree, then you, you will have a very hard time finding the job. So make sure uh, you are paying attention to this and you are fulfilling the criteria. Okay. That was the learning. And the second important point is get the clarity from the people who have already done it. You can message me on my LinkedIn. 
okay i'll give you more clarity if you are if you can switch to automation or if you can get the software testing job uh, for as or not take help from other also there are number of people available on the linkedin you can add them you can directly ask them what i did i for example when i was uh, not sure about how to scale the proper selenium grid and all right what i did is i basically reach out uh, some someone from on the linkedin and he was able to help me he was able to give me some links and that's how i achieved it okay so that's the important learning i hope you are getting the value rise right so that uh, that was a learning number 4 from that blog okay i think uh, fourth one is very simple which is start taking the course now you have a timeline a proper timeline in your mind right Div- start dividing what you want to achieve for example initially uh, i'll share the blog here also where she mentions uh, here see this is the timeline right uh, where first she will basically start learning a programming language which is basically python then then she is parallelly doing the reading the blogs signing up the college doing ex, uh, learning linux right other things and all so uh, here uh, you can basically leverage the same uh, road map or you can modify and create your own also so for example if you are following for as that right it will be different if you are want to become a api tester it will be different if you want to become a manual tester it will be little different okay for example in the manual testing point of view you need to focus on uh, taking uh, certification as well as need to focus on the planning side of it for example uh, stlc side of it where you will be designing how to design how to create your test plan the test strategy and other things right so those thing you need to pay attention to this okay so you need to modify accordingly where she meant th- this one she is mentioning where she uh, basically getting the knowledge of programming also as well as certification and combining it and searching for a job okay and all these things she was able to switch from pm role which is a product manager role to qa right so this is uh, how she had done it so again i have told you right start taking courses on manual testing as that automation programming and you can do the code academy basic courses related to the web development also okay so learning number 5 i think which is important reading is equally important make sure you are reading the ministry of testing and the list of blogs uh ministry of testing url i think uh, let me share this one here you will find a number of blogs it it is good for qa uh, freshers also uh, here people are basically sharing all the links related to the qa what kind of things they are learning and also make sure you read them and uh, you can join the ministry of testing club where people uh, generally discuss about the various topic related to the software testing okay so become a part of it and trust me it will help you a lot right all right uh learning number 7 which is basically taking certain kind of certification i have told you many times right if you want to switch even if you are a fresher uh, this is really really helpful to take istqb if you are a experienced person who have 2 3 years experience uh, it will add uh, to your uh, it will be basically beneficial for you in your resume also okay so may, you can do that also uh, you can join the uh, my like minded group you can join the facebook group for example we have a facebook group you can join the telegram group there is a testing chain testing telegram group which i am going to mention in the description which is very very interesting and lots of big play, big 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 uh, teachers online tutors freelancers are there on that so you can be a part of them and they generally share a uh, couple of resources very very important resources so you can uh, become or take help from this right and also try that same technique uh, find the people find the people in the linkedin groups and become a part of that okay so eight number which is basically very important and here i will mention the bonus tip also where how you can uh, basically find the job of course after uh, so if you have a plan of one year example if you have a plan of 3 months if you have a plan of 6 months right but my point is uh, even uh, we, even when you have reached 30% of it right 30% you have to start applying this is really important and the first one where you will do what you will do is you will basically go to your friends and circle find referrals and tell them that you are interested in a qa role please help me and they will start doing it referral is the easiest way to get a job okay trust me second one is basically reach out reach hrs on the linkedin i have told this technique multiple times how you can get more calls you can find that video in the youtube slash testing academy where, where i have discussed about this technique third one is related to the resume make sure you modify your resume properly i have created multiple videos around it 
how to write how to basically create a proper resume it's in hindi as well so you can check out in the testing academy hindi also all right so thanks a lot guys i hope this uh, review was helpful and uh, i will put this link uh, uh, put the martha's link in the description also where she has written extensively how she was able to do it and pretty much learning all the important learning nine eight to nine points i have uh, basically shared in this video all right thanks a lot guys for this uh, watching this till now and i hope uh, this is helpful please make sure you type yes if it is helpful or a small thank you for me i'll see you in the next video bye